Atzizal is a little Pueblo Magico approximately one hour drive from the city of Merida. We befriended some lovely expats and they took us there by van. There are many positive minded expat groups in Merida online on Telegram, WhatsApp and Facebook. If you are coming for an extended stay, you should definitely reach out, especially if you have a family. The drive to Cisal is fairly easy and you do have to go through some Pueblo roads at points but overall a very straightforward drive. The town of Cisal is very chill, laid back and tropical. It is also surrounded by wetlands and I don't recall seeing any other foreigners besides ourselves. It gives you a very positive isolation vibe. If you feel like disconnecting from society a bit, come to Cisal. So we rented a palapa, which is the thatched umbrella. The usual price to rent these are about 200 pesos, which is approximately $10 US. We ordered food and drink, and I don't think they actually charged us for the palapa. And while we're on the subject of water, I will say that the sargasm or the seaweed was somewhat noticeable. Nothing like I've seen on the Caribbean side, but something to keep in mind. I only saw my kids and a couple other kids swimming. No one else was swimming on the entire side of our beach. And something else to consider is the strong wind. Seems to be very windy on this side of the Gulf of Mexico. You can check out our One Week in Progresso video where I talked about it being windy as well. Link below. But it was very annoying at times, to be honest. The rest of the beachgoers were packed under the shade. And they were all mostly locals, probably from Merida and other parts of Mexico. Another thing that stands out about Cisal is the active seabird life. Cormorants. Brown pelicans. My first magnificent frigate. And we even saw a large flock of flamingos flying overhead like a tropical pink mirage. One of the coolest things you'll ever see. Which brings us to the question, is this all worth a visit? Look, there is a lot of hype on this small sleepy beach town, especially since it became a Pueblo Magico. I would actually say that perhaps it's better to stay the night or even a few days to really get a feel for it. There are lots of nature tours and fishing tours you can do here. It was nice for a day trip too. We got some stingray and shark empanadas to go from the corner red and white restaurant. They were really delicious, especially with the salsa. It's the same restaurant we ordered from the Palapas guy. Great food and good local price. If you're trying to get away from the crowds and the tourism of Progresso, Cisal is definitely for you. So apparently Cisal was originally the port for a long time. And now it's moved over to Progresso. So it's now a bit more of a sleepy beach town and it's actually so much less touristy, which we loved. Well, if you made it this far in the video, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel. Please share with anyone who would find value from this video. We've got many more videos coming up about our six months living in Mexico. We would love to inspire others to travel. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.